Hey guys, today I just want to talk about a couple of things with some changes going on with Facebook and some of the restrictions they're putting into place and some actions that you can take to go ahead and get ahead of anything before uh, Facebook puts changes or restricts your account for any reason. Um, and the big thing we're looking at is domain verification. And uh, you're in luck because as a Shopify user, this is actually going to be relatively easy for you to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just walk you through the process so you can see exactly how to do it and to make sure you're doing it correctly. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull up my uh, Facebook business account, uh, business manager, and we will get started right inside of there. Okay, so here I am inside of my Facebook business manager. I've gone ahead into my uh, account that I will be verifying. And the where we want to scroll is down here to brand safety and to domains. I currently have not verified any of my domains that I use this account. Um, I'm going to focus on one domain. Uh, there's you can uh, verify more domains. So if you're running ads to different domains from the same account, um, I'm not a huge fan of that. I prefer to have one account, one site, um, or, or you know one one site per account. Uh, and not have an account that's running to multiple sites. But that's, if you are doing that, you can do this. But we're gonna go ahead and hit add, and it's asking you to put in your URL. So I'm gonna put in a URL that I have for a random uh, test store that we use. Um, and I'm gonna hit add domain, and um, that's great. So give me just a second and we will get into the next steps. Okay, so after updating the page, we are showing this here. Um, and it's basically telling you there's a couple, there's three different ways that you can go about verifying your domain. Um, they are a DNS uh, record, which is you putting that in um, your hosting, basically. There's an HTML html file upload where you basically upload this to the root folder of your site and uh you upload a certain this file that you can download and it will detect that file and then there's the meta tag version where you can actually just add this meta tag to the head section of your uh, home page and uh, facebook will detect that uh, I'm gonna walk you through um, what I think is the easiest and then I will give directions on all of them. So to me, um, the meta tag verification is gonna be the easiest and um, simplest way for you to do this. Uh, it doesn't involve having to log into a cPanel or deal with your hosting. It just involves dropping a simple line of code in the theme of your Shopify store. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll wait to copy this um, until I'm ready for it. What I am going to do is go ahead and open up my um, Shopify store. Um, oh man, brought me in a weird way. Hold on. Shopify. There we go. Um, log in to the store that's on that URL which is this test store here. Um, this is going to open and we can go to our online store. We're in our themes. Um, the section that we're looking for is the head section, which is the very top that holds all of your metadata and information like that for, for Google and all of that to know what, what's going on. So um, all we have to do is go into actions, go to edit code, and the file we are looking for is theme.liquid. This is like 99% of times this is where you're going to find the head um, unless you have some sort of weird theme. Uh, but it should be right here. And what you're going to see is this head. That means you are in the right section. So we can go over here and it just says you can add this to the head section of your homepage. So we're going to copy that. We can come over here. We can scroll down it's always good i like to find the end of the head right here and drop down a couple lines 
and drop in our Facebook verification and hit save. So I have now added that line to the head of our site. And now that we've added our that that metadata to our head on our site, we can come back here and it says, um, let's go and look at it and confirm that it exists there. We come here, um, get rid of that. Oh my gosh, uh, come in here and we can view the page source and we are gonna come to our head and let's scroll down till we get to the bottom of our head section. We get lots of JavaScript in here. Facebook domain verification right there. So that means it exists on our page, right? Perfect. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click verify. And we're going to see what it does. Look, done. We're verified. We have, we have set it up. It's that quick and easy. That being said, if for some reason you don't want to do this method and you would like to go down the road of these other methods, um, when you go into your uh, hosting, you should be able to get into a C panel uh, and it will have a file management system and you should be able to open that up and you go into your root folder, which should be named backsplash or backslash with nothing behind it. Uh, that's generally your root folder. And um, you're just gonna upload this file that you download there. Now there's not, um, basically the way you would get there now is this is that link. So if you think you have added it, you should click this link and it should bring up a page that it just, it's gonna be like Facebook verification. Uh, and then you can click verify. If you're doing DNS, uh, it's the same thing. You're adding this text into your DNS configuration. This is a little bit um, not the best way to do it. Even like it says here, it could take up to 72 hours for your changes to actually take into effect where you can actually go and verify it. So that's why I really don't recommend this way. Um, so I'm just not gonna really tell you how to do it. If you wanna do it, you can look it up on YouTube, I'm sure. But I think the meta tag verification should be the simplest way for anybody to get out there and get your site verified and ready to go. So that's it to get your domain verification set up with Facebook. Um, there's some other things they're rolling out with some of their changes coming and we'll address them as we get there. This, however, was one of our main concerns, something we wanted to make sure we were drawing all of our sellers attention to this to make sure that their accounts are not going to be affected in any negative way and that they're fully set up and ready to go for any changes that might be coming. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in our next video.